The first Christian scripture translated into an indigenous language is on the left. The Gospel of Luke in the Awabagal language of the Newcastle district of New South Wales. Translated in 1831 by Lancelot Threlkeld and his Aboriginal colleague Biraban. Following the death and massacre of so many Awabagal people, Luke was only published after Threlkeld's death in An Australian Grammar, an 1892 collection of his writings. As a reconciliation gift in 1997, Christian churches in Newcastle printed Luke in Awabagal and English to present to the local Aboriginal people. The first Indigenous language scriptures in Australia were Bible portions in 1864 in Ngarrindjeri, the Aboriginal language of the Lower Murray River in South Australia. Scriptures were also published in Torres Strait languages in the late 1800s, including this 1885 Gospel of Mark in Mare or Miriam Mir, the language of Eddie Marbo of land rights fame. For most of the first half of last century, little Bible translation was undertaken because of the presumption that Aboriginal people faced only an English-speaking future. Today, Aboriginal Christians, with the help of Bible Society and other organisations, are keenly translating the scriptures into the remaining languages. Much costly work still remains to be done. On the right are materials in Wuboi, the language spoken by the Nungubuyu people of eastern Arnhem Land in the Northern Territory. In the 1940s, my father, Len Harris, with two remarkable Aboriginal women, Biddy Gyne and Gracie Mambu, translated the Gospel of Mark into Wuboi. On the right is their original handwritten manuscript. The Gospel of Mark with the Epistle of James was published by the Bible Society in 1948. White Australia may have forgotten the importance of Aboriginal languages, but Aboriginal people did not. The Nungabuya people never lost their vision for the Bible in their Wuboi language. Often working totally unaided, they slowly and painstakingly translated the Bible. This full New Testament with some Old Testament portions was released and dedicated in the Nungabuya lands late in 2010. These same Nungabuya people have also translated the whole Old Testament in draft form. <laughs>